Hey, so I am here today to do an unboxing. It's been a while since I've done a tablet review. It's been about a year actually. This time, XP Pen have kindly sent to me their new model, the Artist 22 R Pro. Uh, they also sent this to me. I'm not quite sure what it is. It must have something to do with their 14th year anniversary. I love the color of this box. Have a look inside. Ooh. I'm not sure if this comes with all their 22 inch models, but oh, oh it's a timeline of their events. So they were founded in Japan. It was released, where are the years on here? It's a timeline, but there's no dates on it. <laughs> okay, it's all like memorabilia or stuff. I'll put the info below or on the screen about this part of the package, postcards. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> this is their mascot. I'm not sure if he has a name. Um, there's like a mark here from the packaging. Uh, it's kind of sad. It's very weighty, nice quality though. So I believe this could be like a gift package because you get Copics, which I didn't expect. Um, I actually don't have any of these colors, so that is pretty awesome. Thank you. They're the skin tone set. And then two metal keychains. This one's a pin. So a pin and a keychain. I guess it's like a cute extra. It shows they care about their product and their brand. Time for the main event. Oh, here is the box. It's very heavy. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know much about this tablet other than it's brand new. There's no handle <laughs> on the box. I don't know how to get it out. I'm gonna tip it over. Who did it? <laughs> Sorry, this isn't as sleek as my last review. <laughs> it's well padded. So here it is. Pretty hefty. All you get in the box is the monitor and then this box as well. So in here are all the, oh, these are all the wires and accessories. So gloves. I think this is an extra pen. It says gift, but I don't think you have to charge um, this pen. So I'm not sure why there's an extra pen, but I guess it's nice since we digital artists are always losing our tablet pens. So this is the pen itself. It's similar to the old Intuos pen that Wacom used to have. So it's a thick, thicker nib at the bottom. Um, I don't generally like that. I like a thinner kind of tablet pen, but uh, I don't know, it might grow on me. Comes in this tube, doubles up as a pen stand. And you also get extra nibs on this side. This is the power cable, VGA cable. This looks like a power cable too. Okay, so the adapter and then the leads, uh, HDMI and USB-C. It looks easy enough, there aren't that many wires this time. Oh, little screwdriver. A USB-C to a USB-A adapter. That's nice of them. Warranty policy, quick start guide. I'll be downloading the drivers from the website. What's this? I'm quite sure what it is, yeah. Oh, I think you screw it into the side and then you can put your pen <laughs> and then hang it on the side. Yeah, I'll just put that away for now. Show you the actual tablet. This one's a little heavy for me. So the stand comes attached. Ah, oh, that's super nice. I'll probably show you when I've actually set it up, but this is how easy it is to adjust the height of it. I'm wondering if I can attach like one of those monitor arms to it because I would like to do that eventually. I'm not so sure if it has the correct plate. Maybe if I remove this, these screws here, and remove the whole stand. Um, so on the back we have two USB A's, a HDMI, a VGA, and a C, and then a DC as well for the power. Yeah, this is a real machine. Um, <laughs> there's express keys on both sides. I don't usually use express keys because I prefer a keyboard, but I'll try them out anyway and see how they are. Comes with a screen protector already. Oh, what's that meant to come out? Please peel off this mask. Okay, thank God. Here it is in all its brand new glory. So I'm gonna set this up now. It should be quite an easy setup and I'll start testing it. I didn't notice this before, but on the side of the box are where all the specifications are. Oh, so that's why there's two USBs at the back. So you can use it as a hub um, essentially. So even though it's taking up one of your USBs, you can plug in a USB device in the back too and you can use it that way. So the pen is battery free for those wondering. And apparently this gamma is wider than some of the uh, Cintiqs, so it displays more colors. I'll also link the product below so you can check out the description there um, for all the, like the tech stuff. Should be an easy setup. 
think. This is still my main tablet, um, so I haven't changed it. This might be the upgrade I've been waiting for. Oh, it's a really good size. The scroll wheel has a really nice tactile feeling to it. Can you hear it? The colors are slightly different, but I haven't calibrated it yet. I have to install the drivers first. Okay, I'm on the XP Pen website with the Artist 22R Pro. Um, I'm gonna download the Mac version. Hopefully I don't have to uninstall my Wacom driver either. It's already set itself up as a secondary monitor. Here is where, oh, if you can see, where you can adjust the color profiles of the monitor. Um, it's in the display options and system preferences if you're on a Mac. I'm gonna calibrate it myself. Mm. Up here are some settings that you can use to tweak like the brightness and everything. I keep accidentally hitting the power button when I'm changing the settings here. Um, luckily you don't have to do this often, just when you first set it up. This kind of makes me realize how blue my Dell monitor is looking. To be more accurate, you can use something like a spider. I'm just futilely trying to do it by eye. Sometimes you just have to read the manual. <laughs> if you don't have a newer machine, then you have to connect the tablet as a display and then connect it as a USB device as well. So then the driver recognizes it as a tablet. So here's my setup right now, my two monitors. I haven't done any of the express keys, but it looks like there's quite a lot of options here. It looks quite straightforward. I forget that this isn't a touchscreen monitor. Uh, you just have to use like the express keys or your keyboard shortcuts to like zoom in and stuff. Yeah, I have a really light touch, so with the default settings, I'm barely drawing. This is my regular pressure. Nothing's really appearing. So I'm gonna tweak the pressure curve. Go for soft. <laughs> maybe, maybe there. Okay. okay. Oh, much better. Yeah. Makes a huge difference. I do wear the glove whilst I use this because I don't like the feeling of the screen against my hand. This is a little bit big for me, but it's it's okay. It does the job. <laughs> it's been two weeks since I received the tablet and I've been using it um, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's been my main driver. I feel like I've had enough time with it to formulate quite a good opinion. Someone on Twitter kindly mentioned that you can take out this rubber plug on the side and attach the pen holder. Let's start with the pen itself. This pen does not offer you an eraser in the end. Um, that doesn't bother me, but if that's something you value, then I'm afraid you won't have access to that function. Weight-wise and length, I find it quite comfortable. Um, the only thing I don't like that much is that the, at first anyway, I kept accidentally hitting the keys. It hasn't really caused me any problems after I've gotten used to it. It might just have been because of the shape of my previous pen. I have been using the the Wacom Classic Pen. I bought this a few years ago because my previous pen broke and my previous pen was more like this one. The grip on this one is better because of the shape of it. Like it's just a bit more ergonomic. See how it bellows in there? Yeah, weight wise I'd say they're quite similar. Um, this one obviously does have an eraser, but I don't really use it. The other thing I'm used to using is the Apple Pencil, um, which is much longer and a bit heavier than these two uh, pens. Obviously it works out very differently, especially with the nib and like no express keys, but here it is um, for comparison's sake. For me, I don't mind the lighter pen because I have weak wrists, so if I'm drawing a lot with the Apple Pencil, it actually feels quite exhausting after a while. Um, it seems silly because it's not that heavy at all, but I'm the same with like my other devices because previously I've had a phone that was a little bit too heavy for my wrist too, and that would always send it over the edge, so. I always have to be careful with that type of thing, especially if I'm using it a lot. Those are my thoughts on the pen. So the setup requires a USB input, either USB-C or USB-A. If you have the newer Macs that only have the USB-C, I don't think you need another input to show the display. But if you don't, like me, you'll either have to use a HDMI or a VGA cord. And then in the back, um, those two go in, and then also the DC power goes in there. So there's three wires. So you just hold it here like that for a few seconds and it switches on. There's no physical button here, it's just a touch kind of gesture. 
but it took me a while I guess to get used to that. So I asked you guys what you're interested in learning about this tablet and I received a lot of questions. I'll be going through them in this review and hopefully it will cover most people's curiosities. This is a redraw that I did the other day of um, this drawing that I did in 2009. So someone asked if I could do a little demonstration in real time. As they said, they can't really tell how well something performs if it's just like a speed paint, which I totally get. Do a line test on Clip Studio Paint. So here are the quick lines. It's extremely responsive. If I do a slower line. This brush has zero stabilization, so the program isn't correcting my lines or anything. And you can see that it's really smooth. Um, there isn't any sign of jittering or lag. The latency is very minimal as well. Um, some people ask me about the parallax. Obviously it's slightly noticeable, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because with these type of devices, you often are doing highly detailed work and you need to be able to see your cursor so you know what type of brush stroke you're going to be making. At first, the parallax was really noticeable for me, but then all I did was go into the pen settings and calibrate it. You can adjust the precision of it based on how you're viewing the tablet. So just have it set up at the angle you want it at and then I shall just show you, it's easier. <laughs> if you hear in the pen settings, there's a calibration tab. You hit calibration here and then it gives you these dots where you, to your best of, of your ability and to what looks right to your eye, you hit the spots and it will calibrate the pen based on that. That helps to minimize the parallax. I personally don't find it an issue. If you're super used to using like an iPad Pro and that's all you've been using for digital art, it might take you a while to get used to, but otherwise you should be fine. So I've also been asked about the screen resistance. There's no grain like the Artist 12, but I feel like the resistance is just right. It's quite smooth um, and it does feel like you're gliding a lot, but not in um, not in a way where it feels like you're drawing on something super unnatural. I actually really like the feeling of it. Um, it's just sil like silky smooth. <laughs> I can't say I've been using the express keys very much um, because I prefer using a keyboard but as far as I can tell they're very responsive, they work just how you would expect them to work. I've also been asked if the pen tip pushes down when you use it and no it doesn't, it stays put, it's quite a firm tip. So here's a little bit of real time drawing, just something short because um, obviously I can't put in a whole length illustration into this little review. Um, so the pressure sensitivity is really good, but I put my settings quite high because I like to draw with a hard line and use less uh, force because that's just my preference. When I'm painting, I tend to adjust the opacity manually with the keyboard, um, but if you rely on the pen pressure for your painting um, or your drawing even, then you won't have any problems. You just have to set your pen pressure accordingly. You can fine tune it and then you can also fine tune your brushes too. I don't think it's an issue at all. The precision is really good too. You can get the closest lines and you can be super precise even when zoomed out a lot. Here is also a line test, um, but this time in Photoshop. So light and then dark. There is very slight waving in this, but I think it might be my brush. So let me try a smoother brush. I'm in Photoshop CS6. There is minor waving, wavy lines here. It does perform slightly worse in Photoshop. I can't say that would bother me very much, but it's just something to keep in mind. Um, it's very, very subtle. I don't think you would really notice it unless you're scrutinizing it like we are right now. <laughs> that doesn't happen at all in, in Clip Studio. Um, I love the screen size, it's 22 inches. It's a very comfortable size to work at. Um, it's easy to have like references up on one side. Maybe not as good as like a 27 inch, but uh, it's manageable. Plus if I have the second screen anyway, it's not um, an issue because I can just pull up references on that screen instead. I have been asked to compare this to other brands. However, I haven't used any screen tablets from other brands for an extensive period of time. So I can't really give you a reliable opinion uh, or comparison between any of the other brands that have a similar model to this. I can only tell you how I feel about this model and if it suits my needs and I think it suits my needs very well. <laughs> no, no unresponsiveness, no lag. 
the drivers have been working fine. The stand is amazing. The pen is very responsive, very good. You don't have to charge it. Actually, one little thing, this screen protector is coming off slightly. It, it came like this. It doesn't really bother me, but over time it may need replacing. But I can't really complain. I have a really strong light coming from here and you can see how it diffuses it very well. There's no like glare that disrupts my workflow. So my experience with it has been very positive and I'm pleasantly surprised by this device because of the price point and the performance of it. And I highly recommend it to anybody who's wanting to get a screen tablet to do higher quality work. Though I don't feel like the tablet makes the artist anyway. Things that other professionals may value from other brands, they might not concern me as much as it does for them. So get the opinion of other people who might have reviewed this tablet too. Um, but for me and my needs, it is perfectly fine and it's great and I think it's gonna last me a long, long time. So thank you again, XP Pen. So I'll link all the information I have on this thing below. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you later, guys.